Hi, I'm Ed Amorosa from Tag Cyber. I'm here with my friend Ilan Kaplan, who is the CEO of Cytegic, and we are talking about cyber, cyber risk management, a topic yes, you know a lot about. <laughs> yeah, a little bit, yes. You've been working in this event. Hey, most of the work in cybersecurity to date, mm -hmm. not just cyber risk, but cybersecurity, has been in IT, IT mm -hmm. systems, ECP, IP, yep. networks, servers. You've done a little bit of work now on the other side of that ITOT barrier where you mm -hmm. do SCADA controlled operation systems. Does, does risk management change when you're dealing with OT systems or is it more or less the same thing? What's been your experience with that? First and foremost, um, OT is emerging around the world as mm -hmm. one of the biggest risks that we can right. think of and critical infrastructure is a very complicated combination of everything that has to do with the operation ranging from electrical valves or, right. or pressure gouges all the way to control centers. So the big thing is, what are we going to protect when it comes to cyber risk? Mm. Are we going to physically protect the valve against somebody coming with a hammer to, to crash it? It's kind of out of our space. So where does cybersecurity come to play? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is to understand that those electrical valves are not just plugged up and down with a switch. There is a control center. And some of these control centers are complex enough to launch a, a spacecraft. So actually, these guys are running it on the IT platforms that we are used to, like like the Windows and the right. Linux, and right. they are using databases, mm -hmm. and all the controls are actually fed into one space. So, on one end, I have all the endpoints. You can compare them to our laptops or or nodes on the network, but this is just one element in the whole thing. Mm. The other thing is who is going to protect the control center from which everything is managed. And when we did a project with some very large uh, infrastructure organization, we really did an analysis of where does the barrier lie between protecting the valves and protecting the control center. And in like ev every other place, the Pareto rule is 80% is at the heart. It's at the brain of the operation. So when we did the analysis there, we found that all of our interfaces are just as, re as relevant there. So we can use our interfaces with the, the uh, I don't know, the GPO of the Active Directory is just as important, and the firewalls and the WAF and the NAC and the access control, and who is allowed to change something in the system? So IPS IDS is just as important. Mm -hmm. So we can see co today a continuum between the IT that we find in every company and the OT. And to a great extent, the, this is not different from the gas manufacturers and energy and, and telcos and any other organization. Engineering and IT are now one continuum and no longer separated by technology or organization barriers. Mm -hmm. I would think it would be hard to convince an OT engineer that's had 20, 30 years with some electromechanical system that there's higher risk. You know, you connect them up to across an ITOT gateway and you and I would say, wow, you've just increased the risk. But I would think that that engineer would have a hard time agreeing because they look at these things every day if you ask them to comment on risk, I bet they underestimate the risk significantly. Is that generally true with uh, OT engineers? I'm being very politically correct <laughs> to say <laughs> that I'm afraid that it could be that you're right. Well, they're smart. They're smart. There's uh, not a question yes. of you know whether they are capable. Just the familiarity breeds a feeling yes. of lower risk. This has to do with our responsibility of education. Right. Because these guys, as you said, they are brilliant. They are doing very complicated things. Right. Right. But they are not aware of the ways that very complex systems could be very vulnerable to penetration through a back door that is 
actually somewhere up the food chain and there is a control center that is managing it. So you can think about like, like some of the very big power plants that it is really complicated to manage it and people are focused on keeping things up and running. Mm. But to what extent am I confirming that a command that was sent to a set of operators was sent correctly? And this is one gap. But the biggest gap is, did I even test the legitimation of a person issuing that mm -hmm. command? Now, for IT folks, this is common practice. Come on. You need to have your credentials. Right. You need to belong to a group on the, on the Active Directory. And it is recorded and monitored. You'll be surprised to what extent I found places that anybody in the control room just can plug in and do any command they want. That's scary. Now, now, it's not because, as you said, of anything but our responsibility as cyber risk officers to educate people. So one of the biggest things that I would like to recommend when it goes to OT, actually there are two things. One, awareness and training. Mm. This is the number one. People need to understand that cyber attacks are like water. They all go through the, right. the, the right. lowest. Right. Right. And it's easy to get there. And two, use the good practice that you already used for the IT to the extent it is possible. There are tons of startups that are doing some very cool stuff mm. about endpoint in OT. But let's start from the, you know, from the foundations. We can dictate good policy. And this is the last thing to mention. The worst thing that I found in some of those places, they don't have policy. And as you know better than most, right. without good policy, you don't even know to what extent you're doing things right. And this is, therefore, if I'm trying to focus on the biggest take, we must have a policy for cyber, for OT world. We must continue the flow between the IT and the OT world, not to address any barrier. And this is a gradual process of education. What I found which was very encouraging is that senior management begin to understand it, sometimes ahead of the engineers in the field. So there is awareness, there is a need. Um, so I'm sure that we are faced with a revolution where the IT OT barrier is going to collapse and it's going to be a continuum of good practice. So the tip here for security teams would be, rather than just focus on point solutions, which is what most people do with OT, you really need to take the time to do a, a holistic cyber risk managed assessment of the OT infrastructure. Am I saying that right? Does that sound right? Precisely, and start from the control room. Mm -hmm. Start there, you have plenty of opportunities to, to speed up your game there. Right. Even if some of the endpoint protection is still in the development side. Makes sense. I hope people listen to your advice. Thank you. Very good. Pleasure. And we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.